a day in the life of we are God's creator. I am Tech Manju. I mainly focus on virtual reality, as you can see. For first person shooters, of course, it's going to be Veil VR, Zenith, Half Life Alex. For my RPGs, you have Blade and Sorcery. I love to become a different character. I love to be able to go on an adventure. I love anime, so like shooting fireballs out of my hands, being able to earth bend, fly, anything where I can just do something out of this world. That's what I love. And that's why I love VR. Actually, when I was at Kennesaw State, I was on campus in Google. They had a Google Cardboard station and they gave me a Google Cardboard. And from then on, I kind of fell in love with just the, um, the idea of virtual reality. Uh, I want to say around like actually two years ago, but I didn't see any progress until about a year ago when I started on TikTok. I um, now have 1.3 million on TikTok. I actually built my following and everything by just being me and posting clips and everybody liked it. Now I'm actually getting into like the business aspect, like building a community with my Discord, building my YouTube, just building up a um, like a more solid foundation for everyone and getting everyone into VR. But up until now, I mean, I've I've just been interacting with everyone who comments on my videos, talking my Discord, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. I've been very active on Twitter lately because uh, a lot of the VR, the virtual reality space is on Twitter. The funny thing is, is like, um, I'm kind of like a neurodivergent. So like when I get stuck on something, it's kind of hard to like get it off, right? When you see the progress coming, it's just hard to stop. So it's just been a constant journey of just the grind just because I love to do it video after video. But my main drive was because I am a firm believer, like I 100 100% believe that virtual reality is the future of not just gaming, but like, I just want to be on the forefront of what's going to happen. I found my way into the industry by actually just the entertainment side, and that's going to lead to more opportunities in the virtual reality space. One, Charlie is just so genuine. Everyone on the team is so cool and welcoming. They called me and I, I well, I looked at, first I looked at their website, looked at all, everything they're doing. I saw they're like extremely professional. I even looked at the roster of like all the gamers on their team if, if I wanted to be a part of it. And then following them on Twitter, seeing how everyone wanted to support. And it was funny, I saw people were like, wow, I wish I could be a part of Lazarus. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> that, that made me want to be a part of it because so many people were tweeting that they wanted to be a part of it. For me, the biggest thing is like, um, do your research. You don't have to get the best camera out there, but you want you want quality. So even now the phones, like your, your iPhone can film in 4K. The, the second thing, which I think is actually the most important is do not get caught up on the views and the likes when you start off. People are gonna come to you based on your passion for what you do. If you're just doing it and they see you're like consistent with it, they're going to like, keep watching you but if they see you're doing it just for the views or you're kind of like like your audience knows because whatever you're passionate about you're going to put complete like 100 percent effort into it so just make sure you're complete that's completely what you want to do sometimes you'll hit a bump in the road and it's like you can't really overthink it it's just like hey yo, let me just keep going I'm going to be completely honest. If I want to get lost in virtual reality, one of my main things is I'll play movie soundtracks like um, from my favorite composers like Hans Zimmer, music from like Interstellar or Inception. And when I play Blade and Sorcery, I'm not going to lie, I listen to the 300 soundtrack. While you're playing a game like uh, The Wizards and like you're literally doing gestures to shoot fireballs and then you have this dramatic music in the background. At that point, it's no longer a game. I'm in a movie or I'm so engulfed into the VR that the world is literally like that's literally where I am. Right now, since I'm in Miami, I'm going to say my favorite non-gaming hobby is rollerblading. Everything I do, I like to make feel like I'm in a movie. I'm kind of dramatic. Just bouncing with my music, you know, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be cliche. Like whenever you ask somebody about Tech Man Jew, they're going to be like, you, you mean the guy who like cut the head off of that girl with the lightsaber? But it's funny, like that's literally my favorite gaming moment 
and I'm gonna tell you why. Like I sp that that video was within the last five minutes of me filming. My Canon M50 only filmed up to 30 minutes, and I said, you know what, bro? Just play the game. Like just have fun. The uh, NPC walked up to me. I dodged her. It was so natural. I grabbed her, pushed, forced her in the air, got her lightsaber, spun it around, cut her head off, and everybody was like, bro, how did you do that? You have to practice what I did. Like you can't just like you can't just get in there and be like, oh wow, I know how to use a force. I know how to throw someone. Like it's like it's very precise and it's it's funny to me. Uh, it's so hard to say what my favorite is, but right now the best storyline period is Attack on Titan. The storyline is completely amazing. I'm not gonna give spoilers, but maybe Attack on Titan right now. Favorite genre of music is gonna have to be how what is that genre? I was movie scores. Like if it's like a <laughs> don't do this at home kids if it's like a it's like a movie scene where it's like action it's funny like subconsciously i was like step on the gas and i'll be speeding it's funny right now i'm gonna have to say frozen yogurt i'm on a health kick i'm trying to stay stay like stay away from too much dairy oh my gosh spring because I, I sweat too much in the summer and it's and in the in the winter i freeze um i would wait and i would get a tesla um roadster the new one once it's released i'm tech man come on okay okay I, okay i'm like hot take what do i say ah <laughs> dr strange 2 was the best marvel movie <laughs> i love in that movie because i mean i'm always big on like i don't want to call it the multiverse they really took like real life themes and i guess i, I really that's what really attracted me to the movie because i could relate to it can I can I phone a friend? Hey, ma manager, my manager's here, Malik. If my life was a movie, what would it be called? The history of the universe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no. The future, of the, future of the universe. Okay, okay, okay. Bet I like that. I like that. Ooh, actually, me and my crew. I have a crew now. Uh, I have my bro Datman. Of course, I have my manager. You guys heard him. He does like all the back end, the business stuff. You know everything about that. In the works, we have like. Like we're actually bringing tech man to life like we're gonna like animate an anime yeah like we're, <laughs> we're working on a story for uh tech man i have my bro he's also a content creator his name is Datman man inu uh we're all like we're animating our personas and we're gonna actually like live it out in real life and we're gonna bring that to life as much as possible with like manga strips for like you know it's different things and we're gonna like add flair to like our brand so it can be more than just gaming and we've been doing a lot a lot of youtube videos and stuff because we want to also build that as well like we're still posting on tiktok but we're focusing on long form content instagram twitter just building our presence everywhere you can find me everywhere at techman underscore Jew. That's T E C H M A N underscore J U. I am on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Honestly, if you type that name in on Google, I'm the only thing that's gonna pop up. So you'll see all of you'll, yeah, you'll see all of my socials.